Hey, congratulations for Driven here. Hey, how exciting is it that Driven is being showcased here at the Dances with Film Festival? Uh, very exciting. We were thrilled to uh, screen at this theater. It's, uh, uh, and I've never been to Los Angeles, so that was cool to kind of get to see the city for the first time and meet a lot of new filmmakers is always a joy. Yeah. Oh, same. Right. First time in LA and met a lot of really cool people. Uh, met filmmakers that I have known and interacted with but have never seen in real life before so that's mm -hmm. that's kind of interesting now let's let's talk about this movie I, I found this movie hilarious which is which is quite surprising because I actually thought it was a thriller for some unknown reason maybe it's he was both. he was a serial killer or something like that and it just took a right turn out what, what what do you guys have to say for that yeah well we enjoy um, uh, I guess you could say mixing genres, but just letting films kind of have different sides to them. So we both love comedy. We're in an improv, a couple of improv uh, troops. So uh, it was really fun to, to mix thriller aspects and horror together. And doing it in the confines of the single vehicle was was a was a challenge, but it was was a nice one, I think. Wow. Then that means coming from an improv troupe, you totally relate to that character. Uh, yes. Now, improv is different from stand-up. I recommend improv to absolutely everyone. Everyone should try it. I recommend stand-up only to the extremely thick-skinned and brave because... You've done that too, though. I have done that too. I, I don't actively do that as much. So, um, But yeah, it was, it was fun. I enjoyed it. It, it was tough uh, trying to write stand-up that I wouldn't write actually for her to practice in her routine and everything so mm -hmm. so that was interesting for me um, hmm. and and as far as like the blending of genres I want everything to be a blend of genres because like even in really sad situations we find ways to laugh even in scary situations like you feel other things and so I like to think driven is a lot of stuff um, Shout out to what? Can I curse on this show? Yeah, go for it. So there, there is one. <laughs> I'm quoting someone else. Okay. Uh, there, there was a moment at our screening when the two characters are having an altercation, and one of them kind of verbally hits below the belt. And somewhere in front of me in the audience, someone went, "Oh shit!" And I really appreciated that. I was like, "Thank you." Yes, that was a, that was a terrible moment for them. So. <laughs> terrible um, moment. Yes. Yeah. Now, um, Richard Spade. Um, what, in, in this film, I, I think he's a great actor. I think he's a very funny actor. Um, how much improv was there? Not much. Not much, actually. Mm -hmm. uh, for the most part, they they stick to the uh, stuck to the script. There was uh, like a couple small moments, usually kind of at the end of a scene. They would just kind of play a little bit, but for the most part, they stuck to it. And you guys rehearsed a good bit when you could before we filmed each mm -hmm. scene too. I know I know Richard was pretty tough on sticking. He wanted to get the words right, right as written. Yes. Right? Yes, and he had a lot of the exposition dialogue, so yeah. it was it was very tough for him, I think. Well, I mean, not that he struggled with it. I just he had a tougher job than my character did in that situation. Um, but yeah, as far as him being funny on screen, I'm sure he is a very good improviser. Mm -hmm. But that's just he really got the meat of the character, and I think he understood that the humor in Roger comes from how serious he is, and 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 what a what a socially clumsy person he is and everything so that and and that's what I think came through there absolutely let's talk about the third character the car <laughs> <laughs> whose car is that and how challenging was it that to film the practically the entire movie in the car um, it was Casey's car it was my car um, which we had access to which was very nice uh, and, and, and it was my car because my car was the biggest out of the yeah. people that we knew. Yeah. Um, and it's a Honda if they want to give us any money. Please give us money. Please That'd look us up. <laughs> um, so, yeah, it was uh, very challenging for a lot of reasons. Uh, the two of them were cooped up in there for most of the movie. Uh, but visually, it took a lot of planning because we usually film out of order. So you don't want to use the same idea and then think on the spot and you do it again for the next scene and then they it gets boring you know you have to be very careful so I actually storyboarded the entire film out drew the whole thing out um, and then uh, our, our DP Michael Williams is an excellent uh, director of photography uh, he has great ideas too that we throw in there so but it was nice to have it really really kind of scouted out to know what we wanted to do and at any given point there were between two and three crew members crammed in the car somewhere so you know if you have a chance to watch it again just know that like there's 
four to five people in that car, even though you only see two. And our sound guy, uh, Zach Lancaster. Yeah. yeah. Lanca okay, yeah, Lancaster. Okay. Lancaster. Yeah. He's not a small. He's very tall. He's tall guy. He had yeah. to. He had to cram in with his full gear and everything. Laying down most yeah, of the time in the back. Down. Yeah, yeah. So pretty much any and any adjusting any area of the car that is not in any given angle. There's there's, there's a body people. there. Yeah, wow. yeah. Well, well, tell tell me this. Since you guys spent so much time in the car, so much production in the car, does it does it smell like a hippie's armpit after all that? <laughs> she did the quote. The quote that one of our veteran crew members remember that oh yeah yeah so our our, <laughs> our gaffer actually one night when we were doing some uh, b-roll footage uh -huh. it was me glenn and, and michael and and uh our gaffer greg gray in the car he was like i gotta tell you guys you might be one of the best smelling groups of filmmakers i've ever been around which is good since we're all crammed in, in here. here yeah so that was good it actually wasn't that bad because it was so cold no one ever sweated yeah, it was. We, we filmed overnights for two weeks, and it was below freezing for all but two nights. Yeah, so we were looking at anywhere between five degrees to thirty-three. We were lucky, and that was that was truly like a heat wave, and we were outdoors for most of them. So uh, smell didn't exist, heat didn't exist. There was um, no sweat. Yeah. So yeah. Great. Well, anyways, hey, as I was going to wrap this up with, uh, I'm just going to ask you guys: Do you have any more projects after Driven? Uh, we do. We have a series. Um, bless you. What are you trying to do? Pull attention on uh, that? Yes. Uh, we have a, a series called Stag Rassle Paranormal, S T A G R A S S L E, which is a ghost hunting mockumentary. It's a comedy series, and it's on. We have two episodes on Amazon, mm -hmm. so we've been looking at maybe doing a few more episodes on that and continuing to play with those characters. And I think we're both working on separate yeah. scripts. Are you telling me to wipe my nose or are you just scratching no, your no, nose? No, I was just wiping my nose. Okay, Thank I you didn't for know. calling that out. We're no, even. I just now sneezed. So I, okay, anyway, sorry. <laughs> I love that you asked everyone though. Well, uh, anyway, so we, we both have separate projects that we're working on as mm -hmm. well and maybe we'll share them with each other at some point. Maybe, we'll, we'll see. see. Oh. Well, okay. well then, congratulations. Ghosts, demons, everything. It's a hilarious movie. Thank you so much. Can't wait till the whole world gets to watch Driven. Oh, thank, thank you, you so much. Us too. And, and and hopefully Honda will give you an endorsement. Man, Thank you. Here's how, we'll go and reshoot a scene where we talk about like how great the steering and yes. handling and everything is. <laughs> yeah, exactly. Is. Terrific. Hey, congratulations. Thank you. Thank you very much. Thank you. Thank you. Yeah. Thank you.